hello guys welcome back to the share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix resident evil 4 is having screen flickering issue which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app so let's move to the workaround the first one is all about you just need to enable vsync in the control panel for that we just need to follow the instruction so how to do this so just go over here in the desktop like this you right click and go to show more options now go to nvidia control panel so you just have to open this now when you open this you will be able to see like this this is what you are getting this from here we just need to first go to manage 3d settings over here just click on this one now from here once you click on this you get two option global setting program setting go to program setting now from here we need to add the game that we need to add the game that is an important one so uh, for that we just need to click on the add now from here we need to keep scrolling down and navigate to whether you are able to find the uh, game that is resident evil 4 here or else you can add it by default so i'm going to show you that how to add it by default over here you can see the resident evil 4 is here so just add it so if it's not there how to add it just click on browse now from here go to this pc select local disk c keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now keep scrolling down and navigate to resident evil 4 biohazard re4 now select the application and add it so here the game is there so just go for add selected program so it is added if you click on this one you will be able to see that is it is added okay once after that keep scrolling down then come to vertical sync over here so click on this one parallelly and over here if this means set into use global setting use 3d application change this to on so you have to turn on the vertical sync once after you're done with this one just go for apply and go for ok some users said this end up in lowering the fps drop so if that is the case but this did work out for many users as well apparently so for me there was not issue when i tried this particular step for son of forest hogwarts legacy wwe 2k23 it was fine for me but I'm having good enough specs. For example, my RAM is around 32 GB and I'm having good graphics as well. as. So I don't know how it didn't affect me, but some people people commented in the comment section. So you can go with this. And once it's been set into this, just close everything. I mean, you have to uh, make the changes before apply, then try to launch the game. This is the first step. Next one is all about we need to update the GPU. That is what we need to do. So I'll be providing a link in the description for both uh, nvidia as well as for the amd so nvidia users can go to link in the description then go to drivers at the top now from here you have to select the respective details like your product type product series product operating system with download type language etc so here i am in windows 11 so i have to set this to windows 11 select every single reasons uh, details what you need then go for start search now from here as you can see the version is 531.41 and it is released on 23 march 2023 so this is the latest one two days back then download this one and install it and restart your pc and launch the game if you're on the amd just do the same go to graphics select every single details of it go for submit now from here you have to if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 11 download this one install it and restart your pc and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well so next one is all about we need to move to the next step that is all about we need to lower down of uh, lower down the graphics setting for lowering down the graphics setting we need to open the resident evil 4 so just go to over here on the game so let's wait for this let this get launched completely Now the game is over go for start again now go to options and we have to make few changes like shadow effect v sync anti aliasing etc so first go to display and over here as you can see the hdr mode should be turned off and the display area is fine you just have to turn this off dot should be turned off keep scrolling down a little bit so if you go over here if you find here anything like you know uh, the laser should be fine with this all the things are fine there is no issue with this but if you go back to the graphics here comes a lot of thing so as you can see 
uh, over here if you go at the top that the screen resolution can be changed so it is up to your configuration that you can keep this up so that is up to do you can do this up uh, without any issue so i'll let i'll be keeping in 19201080 but you can change this according to your rate so the refresh rate can be changed as well so uh, that is depends upon your configurations like if you need 60 just go for 60 for smoothening but let me go for 300 because i'm having a uh, good spec so frame rate can be set into variable or this is up to you we can keep this up and the display mode can be full screen but for some users it end up in a lot of issue if that is the case change this to windowed mode do not forget change this to windowed mode so let me keep this to full screen and the vsync should be turned off and if you go for ray tracing should be turned off as well then if you go over here and the cinematic resolutions can be changed so it is up to do do not go for full hd sorry do not go for 4k changes to full hd and the performance over here can be changed into uh, quality can be changed into performance or balancer do not go for ultra performance that's going to bring you a lot of issue so just go for performance over here and if you go to uh, anti aliasing over here make sure this is turned off that is an important one so once this has been set off just go back now this is what you have to do when it comes to how to do this up so just exit the game after setting this up you have to save every changes you made and once after that try to play the game next one is all about we need to close unnecessary tasks which is running in the background for that just go over here in the start go to task manager now from here if you check you can see there are many things is running in the background so over here only the apps which i'm currently using is four but there are 84 apps which is running in the background which is draining out a lot of my performance that is causing the issue with all these so i have to end this up so first one discord is an especially one which is draining out a lot of performance and if you find it just go for end task and even if you find anything like you know uh geoforce experience and if you find any third party antiviruses etc just remove everything the unwanted thing is has to be removed that is an important step next one is after that we need to go for next step that is all about we need to update the game as well so if you find any update here just update the game that is going to work for you so and also make sure that you are you need to make this setting change that is just go over here go to properties go to updates so select this one and there are three options always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority so set this to always keep this game updated this is an important one change this to this one and that means it will be up to date by default so if you will be getting update option here so just update it next one we need to verify integrity of game file for that just right click over here go to properties now go to local file click on verify integrity of game file that is going to take a lot of time but just click on the verify integrity of game file so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so just go for this last and the least one is all about we need to update the windows for that go over here in the search now go to settings now from here go at the bottom left windows update and if you will be getting update just updated so if you're getting any kb update just go for retry as well as do the steps which i'll be provided already done in the video which means in the channel we have updated many art uh, article as well as in the website in the uh, youtube channel we updated many videos on how to fix kb issues so just follow the instruction then just uh, go for it and once after that just update the windows to the latest version then try to play the game and these are the possible workarounds can be done when you're having screen flickering issue in resident evil 4 and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye